Yeah, g'day to all our juniors out there, boys and girls. Hopefully, you're going okay in this uh, bizarre time, a bit of isolation. Hopefully, you're keeping safe. Keeping up a little bit of training. I know it's difficult to try and do stuff, but it's important we uh, try and keep up our base and our strength and a little bit of fitness. A bit of good news during the week. Footy might be around the corner, so it's important we um, keep our hand eye coordination core skills up. So, I'm just going to go through some basic um, stuff you can do at home, whether it's by yourself or your brother or sister or Basically all you need is a footy uh, and it's just important to try and keep a footy or a ball in your hands at all times but I'll just go through some basic stuff that you might be able to do at home by yourself over these couple of times a week. When we come back we're, uh, we're ready to go. So I'll just go through some basic stuff. First one is grip. It's important to get a good spread on the ball. Spread your hands out, have a little bit of space there between your palm of your hand and the ball. The first one we're going to do, we're going to do each exercise for a minute. So first one, a minute, just gripping the ball, right hand. You've got to spread your fingers and have strong fingers. You smaller people, it could be pretty hard. You only want a little separation, but it's just about getting that grip on the ball. You might get a bit of a tired arm after a while, but... So do that for a minute on your right side. Well, then obviously we'll go to our left. It might be uh, the weaker hand for some. So it's a little bit harder. You've got to concentrate. As I said, nice, good grip. Spread them fingers. If your weakest hand's your left, try and make it your strongest hand. You might have to practice on that a little bit more. Nice little bit of separation. Good, strong fingers that one for a minute as well. Then we'll go to uh, just juggling the ball. Sometimes you're not going to get perfect balls thrown straight to you. So some of them up here, so we're going to start up here. Just juggling the ball. Just tapping it with the fingers. Tapping it. For a minute. Move it down your body. Down to your legs. Nice touch. Spread the fingers. So a good hand-eye coordination. Get the gist of that one. Do that for a minute too. Next one, ball around the head. So we'll go around the head. Nice grip. Same thing. We're practicing the grip. So around the head. One, two, three, four. Around the waist. One, two, three, four. Getting a nice good grip of the ball. Around there, around the legs. One, two, three. Four. Back up around the head. One, two, three, four. Around the legs the other way. One, two, three, four. Back up. Around the head again. It's all in the hands. Good grip. Around the waist. One, two, three. You can pick up the pace a little bit if you start getting comfortable. Around the legs. One, two, three, four. Do that one for a minute through the legs standing so this one's a bit of a catch one so we're going to bend down spread the legs spread the legs even and just pass it one nice soft touch just catching it with the hands just on your fingertips you're just touching it open up your hands give you a little bit of a workout too bit of a leg burn That one for a minute. And then the next one, we'll do that one, but we're walking. So you can do this one walking through the legs. Back. Nice grip on the ball. That one for a minute, that gives you a little bit of a leg burn too, so you're getting a bit of a workout. Obviously you can go through them ones, standing for a minute, through the legs for a minute. Now we'll go to spiralling the ball. Obviously you can just stand there, same thing with the spiral. It's important you have nice good grip. Have that separation, and just stand here for a minute, right up, just above the head. It's all in, it's all in the wrist a bit too, a bit of overspin. 
the top hand's always going to be the one that's more dominant spinning, so you don't have to do a big one, just above the head. Try and stand on the same blade of grass, you don't want to have to move. Right, a uh, minute right hand, a minute left hand. This one's probably going to be a bit of a challenge. You want to try and stand in the same spot. Put nice top over spin, a little bit in the rest. For most of you, the left hand's going to be your weakest, unless you're right, you're left handed, but these are stuff you just practice. Practice your, your worst hand more than your other hand. Minute like that, I've got that sun in my eyes, I might just move here for this double one. So now we'll go to double hands, same thing, so double hand. You're using your top hand as your main hand to spin the ball. So double hand, up, I want to try and stay in the same spot. Up, up, start getting comfortable, you can go a bit higher. Up, up. Always think that top hand, it's a bit like tennis. It's getting you, it's where you're getting the spin from. A minute of that, you get the gist, is that one too. So next one. Next one we're done spiraling then. This one we're just going to go to This one we're going to go to two hands, this one's just a, a dummy one. So practice our short passing. This one's not a spiral pass, this is what we call a six o'clock pass. So you can just get the ball out in front, passing off the inside foot for a minute, practicing. That way, bumper bars up we call them, dipping the ball down, nice short pass. A minute that way, you got your leg there. That way they're coming in, you've got your protection there for you if they come in. Stay nice and square, don't want to turn your hips too far like that. Nice and square, just practice it. So walk into it, dummy. Walk into it, that way, dummy. Walk into it, dummy. Then you can do your right side too, same thing. Pop the bars up, trying to stay nice and square with it. Short, short. These are just like your little tip on plays. Then if you want to mix it up the next one, you can pretend you're passing it out the back to maybe a fullback. So that way, just walking in, out the back. Nice grip on the ball. Out the back, the fullback. Out the back. Same as your right side. So do that one for a minute. Change over the right side. Staying square. Eyes up. Just practicing. About six o'clock, dipping down. Bumper bars. So you got them two, or them four you can do for a minute. You can do your short ball that way for a minute, short ball that way for a minute. Then the next two, you're out the back to your full back plays. Now we'll go like uh, the spiral one we done earlier. We're looking for a longer pass here. We might be using our dummy half. The halves use it a fair bit. So same thing, spiral, but you're looking for a, a longer pass. So you're thinking that top hand, spinning it. Spin it. And these you can do if you've got a brother or sister, mum and dad, you might be able to pass them the ball. But at the moment, obviously a lot of these are by yourself. You can do this by yourself. Practice it that way. Spinning the ball that way. Staying square. Eyes up. That way you can practice your little short plays and your spiral plays, but just try and do each one of them for a minute. Then the last one, this is probably just, especially the forwards, throwing the ball to yourself, catching, catching it nice and early, which we talk about, catching it, bumper, then getting your bumper bars up. So when we're going into contact, we want to make ourselves nice and small using our bumper bars. So it's passable, bang, bumper bars, get you ready. Up, bumper bars, Nice grip on the ball, bring it into your chest like that. And use your both arms to get through contact. 
So they're just ones you can practice for a minute. So basically, some of this might take you 10 minutes by yourself. As I said, you might by yourself, you might have a brother or sister or your mum or dad might be able to help you. But if you can get a footy, get out your backyard, front yard, try and do a little bit of this stuff. It'll take you 10 to 12 minutes. You get a little bit of a workout with it too. And it's just good to uh, keep the ball in your hands. As I said, keep that hand-eye coordination. Try and walk around the house with a footy, using the grip. You might drive your mum and dad mad, but always have that footy, just practicing your grip. So hopefully, keep up, maybe try and do that a couple of times a week. Um, as I said, footy's around the corner, so hopefully see you soon, and uh, good luck with it. Cheers.